welcome back to my channel my husband he has already left for work so he's out of the building i made him breakfast and i just got done like spending time with god i had my prayer time reading the bible and now i'm just i'm actually hungry myself <laughs> so i'm about to go and eat breakfast and then just kind of like get ready for the day praying for myself and i have a couple of things to do on my to-do list This is that one So now I'm just going to go ahead and do a couple of little chores. This is that one. So I got a nice little package from Sephora. I got this one right here from Pat McGrath. I really do love the brand and oh my goodness, like I just really, really did need to purchase this one. That is so pretty, oh my goodness. The packaging is just literally everything. Very happy that my things came in on time. My accessories that I've been needing. Both of these are just like really cute. But these are just like a really cute duo together. So I'm about to go ahead and set the dining room table. Usually I have it uncovered just for breakfast time. And then during dinner time, perhaps lunch time, that's whenever I have the table setting out. And so I just want to have it out kind of earlier just because I'm like in the mood to make sure everything looks perfect right now. So now I'm about to go ahead and set it up. So this is like a linen blend tablecloth. So it's a bit more casual, but the color is nice and bright and sunny. So it'll look really nice against this beautiful dark wood that we have. this morning with my breakfast because I was just like so full from all of the fruits and the omelet and it was just really really good so I do want to finish up my tea because I do try to drink at least like one tea is so enjoyable so I at least drink one cup of tea a day and I really do love it the best in the morning time and then after dinner I do like to have like that nice peaceful moment just before I start the rest of my day <laughs> to go ahead and get ready get this outside air off of me i don't know i grew up with my caribbean mom anytime you went outside 
instantly the outside air <laughs> would get on you. She would tell me that I would smell out like outside. And so whenever I was little, I never really smelled it. But now that I'm older, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no, I can't stand it. Like I really can't stand the, the smell. Now I'm like adapted and conditioned to immediately take a shower if I've been outside. I need a facial first of all. So I think I'm just going to like, I'm gonna do this, <laughs> but I'm going to like, I'm going to rinse my face. And then I think I might just do like a small little scrub to help exfoliate. Since my skin has been healing, I think I will do like a really light facial scrub this morning, just so all of the excess dead skin from my skin that's healing right now, it could just be washed away. So I did just come out of the shower. I don't know if I want to keep my hair in a bun or in a ponytail or if I want to just take it out. I have a little fur scrunchie. <laughs> I love fur. Let's see, I think I'm going to just keep it back. Sometimes I do take the shower earlier. Sometimes I just take around this time. It really does depend on like what my morning schedule is looking like. But sometimes I do go to the grocery store in the morning. Sometimes I do end up cleaning in the morning and then I end up wanting to just take a shower after cleaning. So that would be a good idea just to kind of like answer a couple of your questions about, you know, marriage in general and then getting married at a younger age. Brush my eyebrows back up because they're looking rough. They're looking rough. Um, I already did uh, put on just like one serum, which I mentioned inside of my May, my March favorites serum, that Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. So I do have my Pat McGrath concealer coming in, but it's not here yet. So I have like three concealers on its last limb and <laughs> I'm like squeezing it out. I'm trying to really just like get it out there. But this one's like, this one matches my face pretty well, so. But my first question is, do you like being a housewife? So I guess it's like, is it voluntary to be one? Yes, I do like being one. I personally like being at home, which is pretty funny because I'm more of the social. I really love going to different events, different restaurants, different places, you know? So I'm not afraid to travel, but since I, you know, kind of settled into that life i realized like i actually really do like being home i love the fact that i get to make my own schedule i get to make sure that all of the things that i want to do with my house is being done when i want it to be done i do really enjoy like cooking baking i love a lot of domestic type of things what is the hardest part about being a housewife so i would say one of the hardest parts i had to think on this one but it's definitely not falling into a sluggish mood. Like, because if you are like really just going through, powering hard for like a week or two, one week, you may feel like really sluggish. Another challenging thing for me was also knowing when to have rest days. I had to realize that because usually I'm like, okay, I'm at home, let's go, let's do this, 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 and this, you know? And then it's like, if I don't get it done, then I don't feel like I'm being productive. I don't ever want to be like not productive. So, but also taking rest days are productive because it gives you energy for that next day to really get stuff done. I have to remind myself like, it's okay if you don't get done with all of the extra household duties and cleaning that you need to get done today. You know, it's okay if tomorrow is your rest day my next question is job versus housewife i'm not opposed to working i just like if i were to get a job i would it would have to be worth it to me because i feel valued and i feel fulfilled here at home so i feel like if my job was taking away from that i wouldn't find it to be worth it so for me, like if I were to take on another fashion internship, then I would. My next question is how do I balance my household tasks with everything else in my life? So I do have a planner right here. And so right now I have a whole bunch of notes on it, but here on my planner, I do have a to-do list. So this is basically how I balance everything. 
So this one up here, this is from like a past week or so. And this column, this is all for my YouTube schedule. This one right here is for my life schedule. And then this one right here is for my workout schedule. And then it switches from week to week. I think this is all the makeup I really do want to put on today. So I am going to keep on my chemise until I figure out what I want to wear. I am going to go and eat some lunch. I have not had like a good Asian cuisine in a long time. So I'm really in the mood for it. So I'm going to make some lunch. My grandmother's birthday is coming up so i have the pleasure and the honor of making her her birthday cake so i'm very excited it is a yellow cake with chocolate buttercream icing i will be doing everything from scratch as it should be done so i'm really excited for it and i'm excited to just I, I just feel like this is like really special. So I'm really, really, really blessed to have my grandmother and to be able to make her cake for her is a really big blessing to me. So, yay. <laughs> so I'm about to go ahead and start baking now. I just got done making my chocolate buttercream for the yellow cake. Mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited. It looks like really creamy. And I use this using 100% cacao powder. And then I also used some actual dark chocolate chips to make this. So it's true chocolate taste, chocolate buttercream. So I'm excited. so excited to have him back home and to enjoy a beautiful dinner i'm going to light some candles and have our dessert and i'm just ready to end this night beautifully and just spend some quality time together i do post two times a week on fashion femininity lifestyle and elegance so don't forget to subscribe Mwah!